Is humanity really losing control over AI? OpenAI's operator agent is coming. In a recent post by Bloomberg, they revealed that OpenAI is preparing to launch an autonomous AI agent. Then, in the staff meeting, OpenAI announced Operator, its most ambitious project yet. This AI will take complete control of your digital life, your computer, your emails, your personal data, everything. Even Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, said, the next giant breakthrough will be agents. Maybe I can give the following example. When people talk about an AI agent acting on their behalf, uh, the, the main example they seem to give fairly consistently is, oh, you can like ask the agent to go book you a restaurant reservation. Um, and either it can like use OpenTable or it can like call the restaurant. Okay, sure, that's, that's like a mildly annoying thing to have to do and it maybe like saves you some work. One of the things that I think is interesting is a world where uh, you can just do things that you wouldn't or couldn't do as a human. So what if, what if instead of calling uh, one restaurant to make a reservation, my agent would call me like 300 and figure out which one had the best food for me or some special thing available or whatever. And then you would say, well, that's like really annoying if your agent is calling 300 restaurants. But if, if it's an agent answering each of those 300, 300 places, then no problem. And it can be this like massively parallel thing that a human can't do. So that's like a trivial example, but there are these like limitations to human bandwidth that maybe these agents won't have. The category I think though is more interesting is not the one that people normally talk about where you have this thing calling restaurants for you, but something that's more like a really smart senior coworker. Um, where you can like collaborate on a project with and the agent can go do like a two day task or two week task really well and you know ping you at when it has questions but come back to you with like a great work product. But what he revealed next shocked everyone in the AI community. Codenamed Operator is set to launch in January 2025 and it will perform tasks independently. Before that revelation, Chief Product Officer of OpenAI made an announcement saying, 2025 is going to be the year that agentic systems finally hit the mainstream. Are we losing control? OpenAI will first launch the operator, first as a research preview and then through their developer tools. But the rest of us might need to wait because the consumer release is still under wraps. The most incredible thing about Operator is that it learns from your habits, adapts to your preferences, and customizes your entire digital environment. But why are they rushing this out? Well, because AI labs are under massive pressure. Their models are getting more expensive, improvements are slowing down, and they need a breakthrough. They're betting everything on autonomous agents being the next chat GPT, a revolutionary product that justifies the billions they've poured into AI development. But the real question is, are they ready for what comes next? AI Agent Race The race for AI domination just entered a new phase. While everyone was focused on chatbots, the tech giants secretly built something much more powerful. Anthropic struck first. Their AI system, Claude, can already control computers, move cursors, and write code in real time. Every click, every keystroke, performed by artificial intelligence. So I'm Sam, and I'm one of the researchers here at Anthropic. Computer use is something that we felt was going to be important for a while now. And so today we're going to be talking about a very early version we have of computer use and talking through a representative example of the things we think it's going to be useful for. We're going to be going through a quick demo today. In this fictional demo, a customer, in this case, the Ant Equipment Company, has come to us and asked us to fill out a vendor request form. The data I need to fill out this form is scattered in various places on my computer. What we're going to do is ask Claude to look at the spreadsheet, check if Ant Equipment is in there, and if not, move over to the CRM and try and find some more information there. Once it has this data, Claude's going to then fill out the form for us 
and hopefully transfer the information across to the, the vendor form. First thing that's going to happen is Claude's going to start taking screenshots of my screen and quickly realizes that the Ant equipment company isn't actually in the spreadsheet. So the first thing it does is it swaps over to a CRM and searches for the company we're interested in. Luckily, we get a search match and Claude then starts scrolling through the page looking for all the information it needs to fill out this form. Claude then autonomously starts transferring the information across without me having to do anything. And goes through the, the steps and fills out all the information needed. And then submits the form. This example is representative of a lot of drudge work that people have to do. This is available in the API. We're excited for people to try it. And we should expect things to get a lot better over the coming months. But that was just the beginning. Google also responded to this race with a mysterious project set to release in December. Their agent, rumored to be even more advanced, threatens to beat OpenAI to market. Microsoft isn't sitting idle either. Their co-pilot agents are already transforming how businesses operate. Custom AI, assistants that handle everything from email management to complex data analysis. The enterprise world is watching. However, OpenAI's chief product officer sees something bigger coming. 2025 is going to be totally different. Behind closed doors, these companies are pushing boundaries we never thought possible. AI agents that don't just respond to commands, they take initiative, they make decisions, they operate independently. January 2025 marks the beginning. OpenAI's operator will debut as a research preview, then through their API for developers. But that's just phase one. We're seeing glimpses of what's coming. Browser-based agents executing complex tasks, voice systems making calls on your behalf, background processes running 24-7, managing your digital life. The stakes? Higher than ever. These are billion-dollar bets on the future of human-computer interaction. Each company racing to be first, to be best, to change everything. Reality Check According to recent reports, OpenAI is facing a challenge. AI language models are hitting a developmental wall, with improvements showing diminishing returns. AI expert Gary Marcus warns, Sky-high valuations of companies like OpenAI and Microsoft are largely based on the notion that LLMs will become artificial general intelligence. But there's a problem. There is no principled solution to hallucinations in systems that traffic only in the statistics of language without explicit representation of facts. AI labs are burning through millions trying to improve their models, yet the gains are getting smaller the costs skyrocketing. When ChatGPT makes a mistake, you can just ignore it. But when an AI agent controlling your computer makes a mistake, that's different, that's real, that's dangerous. Dangerous future. But things are changing. January 2025, that's when Operator launches, first to developers, then through their API. Behind OpenAI's walls, they are working on several agents, a browser-based tool that's nearly ready, a voice interaction system that can make calls for you, background agents that work silently, monitoring and managing your digital life. All of these pieces coming together in ways we're only beginning to understand. Despite the challenges, Altman maintains that AGI is achievable with current hardware. Over 2 million people trust ChatGPT with election-related decisions. Companies are pouring billions into AI development. The technology isn't just evolving, it's accelerating, and OpenAI is leading the charge. But are we ready? Think about everything you do on your computer. And now, imagine an AI having control over all of that. 
The age of autonomous AI agents isn't coming. It's already here. The signs are all around us. The strategic moves by tech giants. The accelerated development cycles. The race to create more powerful, more autonomous systems. This isn't some distant future we're talking about. This is tomorrow. This is January 2025. But there's one person who has mixed opinions about AI. Jeffrey Hinton has some misguided views on AI. Want to know what he thinks? Click on the video on your screen.